Hey guys, it's Megs here and you're watching Hip Hop TV. On tonight's episode, I have a jam-packed night full of everything Oz Hip Hop and each week I'll be bringing you a range of different things like hip hop highlights, backstage passes to all the upcoming albums, including inside scoops and all the best Aussie hip hop music videos. Not to mention an own personal gig guide and the new and noteworthy. So stick around guys, it's going to be full on, so let's get it started. So we're going to start off with some hip hop highlights and this is where I review any Oz hip hop song in its entirety and put them head to head to answer the question we all want answered, who did it better? First off we have Seth Century's Thank You For Your Hospitality which debuted in 2012 as part of the album release of This Was Tomorrow which came into the ARIA charts in number 6 and scored him the Channel V's Oz Artist of the Year award in 2012. I'm putting this head to head with the fundamental single Quit Your Job off the album So We Can Remember, which dominated the charts taking out number one independent album for five weeks on air, debuting on iTunes at number one and climbing the ARIA album charts to number three. There is no question that both Seth Century and Fundamentals are amazing at what they do, but these in particular tracks have very similar ideas and contexts, both you and me can relate to quite easily. So what I want to know is which one did it better. This is the sort of stuff you do as a uni student for four years has been ten or more just a thought of it makes me nauseous it's awful I'm so exhausted I surely am looking forward to squashing my uniform in a ball and then toss it all in the bottle bin as I'm walking out tall into unemployment like So long, so long to the job and all the customers do That's right, don't you think that I forgot about you? All the stories I could tell are things I've done to your food ha! We can see in Seth's track his undeniable frustration with his workplace, but the harsh realisation that at the moment he has no choice but to continue working and job he hates. This theme of the repetitive cycle of work is also heavily referred to in Fundamentals track, where they also highlight not only the fear of facing your boss, but the reality that you need to work to survive in this day and age. Even rappers need a job. But back to it. Yo, I couldn't give a toss about my shitty job Work one letter to my boss, man, you really have a slob Definition of a dog Wishing I was gone, kicking back with a six pack Sitting on the lawn, but I'm not Instead I'm here feeling overtired Cause I didn't get no shine for my overtime I got no desire to be busting for the loop You're lucky I don't hustle for industrial dispute For now I'm in the back room puffing on a dude both these songs execute the anxiety, sacrifice and suffocation suffered from the mundane life of the working world perfectly. And even though both are very similar in content, there is no denying they are also very unique in style and flow, and just generally dope tracks. But the question still remains, who did it better? I want to hear what you guys have to say, and you can do that by hitting me up on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash and and I will have those results for you next. Next week. So that's for it for the hip hop highlights. So now let's boogie for the Thursday throwbacks. Now, for all those who are new, this is where I jump back and relieve some of the most explosive, memorable sets of our favourite MCs from Down Under at some of the most renowned festivals. Tonight, we're going to go back and have a look at Illy's set at Triple J's One Night Stand in Mildura earlier this year. What a night this was, full of some of the best artists in the music business at the moment. And who better to round up the night than your boy, Illy. With the right plan, with little more than a MacBook and a mic stand. Look where I took it and I don't tell coats, nor suits and ties, and I don't ride coattails, bye to the routine, I'm buckled up for a beautiful, if at times suitable for vagabond do type life, don't view it as failure if I miss it, I just figure I prove that that way gets turfed, in the process of elimination, and a collaboration that no one could have foreseen, the encore, none other than Vance Joy, for a remix of his Triple J Top 100 smash hit, Riptide. All in all, I, along with everyone else who was not in attendance at this groovy gig, will be kicking ourselves for a long time to come. But glad to know our boy Illy repped Oz Hip Hop loud and proud. For all those who did miss it and just need to see it, there are some highlights posted on the Triple J website, and if not, I imagine YouTube. But it's getting to that time where we got to head backstage for the inside scoop on your favourite artist, album, and our music video of the week. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be huge. Yeah, yeah, and now remember all the times I ignored my cues either. Let them pass by, talk too soon. That's the thing about dreams, they don't all come true. But I won't let a little rain spoil my view. 
For all you newbies to the show, this is where I go backstage and look at the highs and lows of your favourite MCs, B-boys, DJs, you name it. Tonight our boy Illy is the main attraction, so let's see what we can find. So it starts off in 1986 in a place called Frankstown, Victoria, where Illy was born, better known to his friends and family as Al Murray. Before he became the legendary MC we know today, he was a member of a group called Crooked Eye, but opted to leave the group. He released his first solo album in 2009 entitled Long Story Short. The album reached 24 on the ARIA Top 40 Urban Album Chart and escalated him into the scene by playing a headlining tour nationally over 12 dates and also touring in September that year nationally along Aussie rappers 360 and Scripture for the 3 and Up tour. In the mix of appearing on the track Take It From Me on the producer M Phase's debut album Good Gracious, he released his second album The Chase and its lead single It Can Wait and it was certified gold by Aria after selling a staggering 35,000 copies. His single Cigarettes came in at number 35 on the Triple J 2011 Hottest 100 and was on very high rotation through popular music stations, which eventually led to his 14-day nationwide tour of The Chase with special guests and phases. Illy wasn't planning on stopping there. By September 2012, he released his third album, Bring It Back, following the release of the single Heard It All. Many critics called this album a passion project and a tribute to the Aussie hip-hop scene, which I can very much agree to. Soon following was the announcement of a 24-date nationwide tour spanning over a month with support acts like Scripture and Oz Hip Hop producer Chasm. By this time, Illy had grown to be such a powerhouse within the Aussie hip hop scene, he had to make a change and decided to leave Obese Records and start with his own record label called One Two Records and it assigned Oz Hip Hop artists all day. He released his fourth album, Cinematic, under the One Two label in November 2013 which was executively produced by M Phases. Debuting at number four on the ARIA album charts with jaw-dropping feature artists as Hilltop Hoods, Draft, Daniel Merriweather, Brutamental, and many more. The smash singles such as Tightrope, On and On, and Young Bloods featuring Aaron Stringer from the band Amity Affliction earned him the ARIA award for best urban album in 2013. It's undeniable the amount of talent this Melbourneite has and we can just see how far he's come over such a short space of time. Well, I could honestly say I could just go on talking about Illy forever, but that's all we have time for for now. So let's go see what albums to watch out for this week. Now, I know you're just all as excited as I am to know that one day have them announced their debut album, Mainline, and a tour to celebrate. The album was released Friday, August 1st, and tour dates I'll talk about a little later in our gig guide. But for now, let's get stuck into the album. ...while and been trying to find a, a crew name and a banner that we could all write under. And one day just seemed like, you know, the right fit. We, we had a lot of conversations about long-term goals and what we would do. Just to recap for all those who aren't familiar with the One Day Crew, One Day is a hip hop collective consisting of Aussie rap greats such as Spit Syndicate, Horror Show, Jackie Onassis and Joyride. The crew got the scene buzzing with the anticipation with the dropping of the song Love Me Less, which premiered on Triple J just a couple of weeks before the release which sparked rave reviews all over social media. With their huge tour coming, one day have been getting ready to let everybody know what's up and are doing a variety of side shows and single signings throughout Sydney. But the whole crew took over the drop on FBI Radio 94.5 and let the world know what their opinion on their own album was. During their takeover, they mentioned how they collaborated on tracks, such as the MCs being in the room when the beats were made to get a better feel for the flow and the content of the songs. MCs like Solo and the Double S Boys mentioned songs like Day Pills and Milka, which were some of their favourites due to the fact they were just easy to write. Funny that. Not only were they the favourite songs due to them being their favourite songs, they were the smoothest songs to write time-wise and creatively. Not to mention brings back good memories for the boys about that week they spent in Byron to smash out the album. But along with the ups, Joy Road mentions that in Cab Ride he emphasises with what he needs to do to move on from a previous relationship and how he tends to linger on the bad thoughts and the bad times. But with the addition to the new album, it comes a new addition with a new pattern of thought, which anyone could need. Anyway, you don't want to miss this powerhouse performance, so stay tuned 
tuned for the details on that in our gig guide, but for now, that's all we have time for this week. And now we've got to bring on my favourite part, the video of the week. Yay! This week's video of the week is my personal favourite, Addicted by Bliss and Esso. And each week you can have the chance to get your video chosen and shown. Just hit me up on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Megan Cougars and I'll give you a little shout out as well. But for now, let's begin and here it is, the official film clip for Addicted by Bliss and Esso. I was born in the 80s with that summertime love Then changed the whole game like what have I done At the gutter I come to touch the bright sun And from the highest heights, motherfucker, I jump Free in the sky of belief, I can fly Ain't no telling what they're selling, man, they're sheep in disguise Keep this in mind, I keep on my grind I can do it anywhere I wanna do it, so I'll sleep when I die Explosive, ferocious, get up, get down, that showbiz Power to the people that have freedom in their focus I hope this Helps you when you're under the thumb When you feel like nothing can save you When you feel like jumping a gun Stop, relax and remember Even in the worst weather You'll find a way across it There'll be brighter days, honest So get up, get out and get something That's on the real Forget what you were taught And show these people how you feel Like, who are you to tell me How to live my life, my life Cause I won't give this up These are my shoes, my view, my cue To say I do give up oh, And pretty soon I'm a blooming This universal feeling called life. Guidance is internal. Guidance is internal. Since a fetus, explored life's subtle secrets. From my fingertips to my unique double helix. I can see history, I can see the past lessons. It's your right, never be afraid to ask questions. How can every religion claim to be the only one? How can they preach love, yet fight each other holding guns? I think the golden sun might be able to shed some light. I'd rather push peace and knowledge to defend our rights. These leaders in suits tell us to fight for one side. You think they got their sons and daughters on the front line? Not down for war, but down to get an education. We're all equal, yet they push synthetic separation. But in this matrix, I won't be failing to make it. This is my cosmos, baby. Space sailor with Sagan. I heard it's not where you're from, it's where you're carving your view. I heard you don't have to wear a suit to argue the truth. And so, who are you to tell me how to live my life? My life. Cause I won't give this up. These are my shoes, my view, my cue. To say I do give up. Oh, and pretty soon I'm a blooming in This universal feeling called life Who are you to tell me how to live my life? my life? Cause I won't give this up These are my shoes, my view, my cue To say I do give up oh, And pretty soon I'm a boom and it'll be alright Every day's another chance to ignite Cause I'm addicted, oh, I'm addicted, oh, I'm addicted to this universal feeling called life Absolutely amazing. I don't know how those guys did it. So talented. I'd give anything to be able to graph like that. But anyway, let's get back to business and kick it off with this week's gig guide. As I mentioned earlier, One Day has a massive tour lined up for us and I have those dates right here. Friday the 5th of September, they will be playing at 170 Russell in Melbourne. Saturday the 6th of September at the Waratah Hotel Hobart. Friday the 12th of September at HQ in Adelaide. Saturday the 13th of September, they will be at the Capitol in Perth. Friday the 19th of September, they will be heading to Enmore Theatre in Sydney. Saturday the 20th of September, they will be at the Hi-Fi in Brisbane. And wrapping it up on Friday the 26th of September at ANU Canberra. All tickets can be purchased via www.onedayers.net forward slash pre-order forward slash hashtag gigs. Wrapping it all up in Adelaide on Friday the 12th of December at HQ. You don't want to miss this, they'll be doing all their own solo stuff, plus coming to a head with all seven members on stage for the first time ever. This is really exciting, guys. Make sure you be there. 
Also something you definitely want to put in your diaries is Illy has announced a tour at the end of the year called One for the Cities. General tickets are only $39.90 plus the booking fees kept it as cheap as possible for us guys. But on top of this they're actually running an exclusive fan pre-sale tickets which gives you the chance to win a VIP pass which will get you to sound check, a meet and greet and a side stage view of the show. On top of every VIP pass comes a hard copy of the single one for the cities. And there's only 60 of in existence, so those are going to sell fast. General tickets go on sale Thursday the 14th of August. And here are the dates. Friday the 21st of November, Ellie will be coming to Darwin at the Discovery. Friday the 28th of November at Astor Theatre in Perth. 29th of November at the Forum Theatre in Melbourne. Friday the 5th of December at Tuwali Theatre in Brisbane. Saturday the 6th of December at Enmore Theatre in Sydney. Wrapping it all up on Adelaide. Tickets will be available from various websites, so check Illy's Facebook page to see which one applies to you. And that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Oz Hip Hop Show, exclusive to Hip Hop TV. It's been a pleasure. I'm Megs. Till next time, keep it easy.